Since my last video only explained the first version of the Champions League reform, I thought I'd make a new video with the currently confirmed mode, which is supposed to start from the 2024-25 season. To avoid making the same video, this one is now in English. So what does the reform decided by the UEFA Executive Committee look like? The new Champions League will no longer be divided into groups, but will take place in a single league with 36 teams participating, four more than currently. These include an additional champion and a third of the fifth best league. Two of these teams are supposed to be the teams that are not qualified in sporting merit. One additional spot will be reserved for the two associations whose affiliated clubs have the best collective performance in the previous season in the UEFA club competitions in accordance with the association's club coefficient for the season. This spot, which is called European Performance Spot, will be allocated to the club best ranked in the domestic league behind the clubs that have qualified directly for the UEFA Champions League. The additional spot will not reduce the number of clubs in Europa League Conference League. So these two associations will be entitled to one team more, each in the overall UEFA club competitions quota. Back to the Champions League. Each team has eight games against eight teams from the league. At the end, all points from these games are added up and this results in a final table. The best eight are fixed for the knockout round. The places 9 to 24 play off their opponents in a playoff. UEFA draws the eight opponents from the pots that are based on the result of the previous seasons. From the four pots, Team 1 gets two teams each in our example. Then they play against each other so that everyone gets an equal number of home and away games. So eight games against eight opponents, four at home, four away. Teams from the same country will not be drawn. However, there may be an exception if otherwise the entire draw would not work out. After the 8 games, the points are added up and the qualification for the knock-on matches is fixed. No team drops down to the Europa League anymore. In the knockout intermediate round, 9th to 24th play out the opponents for the best 8. A team from place 9 to 16 is assigned to a team from place 17 to 24. Before the knockout round, there is a draw in which the table neighbors are drawn by pairing. So there is the pair of place 1 and 2 and is drawn who goes to the upper half of the tournament tree and who goes to the lower half. This pair draw procedure is carried out with all 12 pairs, so 1 and 2. 2, 23 and 24. Then you play without drawing until you finish the tournament tree. Thus, only in the final can first and second place of the league meet again. New is that already from first knockout round, teams from same countries can play against each other. Here you can see the graphic that UEFA has published. I wondered why a pair of place 23 and 24 does not play against first place in round of 16. Then I realized that they play against 9 or 10 and that would be a too good opponent for the first place of the league. So it makes sense to me to draw the pairs like UEFA wants to do. In our example I've chosen the same teams that I already had in my 2021 video. In next round, round of 16, best 8 join in. Due to pair draw, further draw is also eliminated and all knockout matches are actually fixed with the start of elimination rounds. Until semi-final, matches are played in home and away legs. Final takes place as usual in only one match on neutral ground. The dates also change. 
So league phase now lasts until January. In principle, Champions League matches should take place on Tuesday and Wednesday. There are two exceptions. Each of the three UEFA club competitions will have one exclusive match week with the other two competitions not being scheduled in this week. In this week, Champions League matches can also take place on Thursday. In the first season, this will be match day one. On the eighth and last match day, all teams play on Wednesday to prevent collusion. The matches in league phase start as already now at 6.45 and 9 Central European time. This will be also the case for the first two knockout rounds. From the quarterfinals on, the start is always 9. The mode for the UEFA Europa League is exactly the same. The UEFA Conference League also switches to the system with 36 teams and one league, but only plays 6 league games. For this, there are 6 instead of 4 pots and you play against one team from each pot. In total, there will be 17 match days in the Champions League and Europa League. That's 4 more than now in the Champions League and 2 more in the EL. In the Conference League, there are 15 match days, as many as currently. I'm honest, I didn't expect much from a reform, but this one seems to have turned out quite well. We football fans have to be careful not to demonize everything new. I'm convinced that for every team all 8 league games are important. Unimportant 6th match days, as we often had at the group stage when everyone was already qualified, are eliminated. The ranking is essential for the further knockout phase. By eliminating relegation to the Europa League, the EL is also upgraded. A qualified team does not have to fear being eliminated by a Champions League dropout. Therefore, a qualification for the EL and ECL is more valuable. But let's see what the reform brings. It starts with the 2024-25 season. Have fun!